Hi Aquarius, thank you for joining. And this is going to be your weekly love reading. There's something here about someone here who's conserving some energy or someone here is deciding to invest some energy and time into something here. It's like they could be saving their time for you or you could be deciding you're saving your time for somebody specifically. So like this is giving the energy you guys of like, say you just met somebody or you're about to meet this person, right? Because for some of y'all, this person is new. If this person is new, this is someone here who's going to like show interest in you and they're going to be like cutting off other people and they're just going to conserve their energy and their time for you. This could be somebody who's decided to do that once they spend some time with you or that, you know, they hang out with you one or two times collective, then this person may want to, uh, yeah, <laughs> this person may want to hang out with you. This says makeover. Some of you guys, who maybe you just got a new makeover, a new haircut or a new hairstyle. You know, that could be possible. But there's a new you and you've got a new look. And I feel like there's someone here who sees that. Okay. Older, new person, this person sees that. What do we have for the collective in love? Like you're looking good, you're doing you're doing good here. Unpredictable energy. And it's like all of a sudden, but we'll see. Yeah, whoever this person is, they work very hard. Cancer energy here. Somebody here works very hard and they're like very adventurous. Okay, with the works hard energy. And then we have unpredictable. And the unpredictable energy that I'm getting here collective is just somebody who, like I said, they... um work hard and they play hard okay you could be a cancer somebody could have cancer in their chart all right still feels new but we'll see yeah you have a secret admirer <laughs> you have a secret admirer you guys but guess what the thing is is that somebody is concerned that somebody's concerned that they're not sexually compatible okay I mean, this this card, the sexually compatible card, I feel like this is somebody here because it came out sideways. So I'm feeling like this is sexually incompatible, but it came out sideways. So the energy here for me, you guys, is that you're, you and this person are going to be sexually compatible, very attractive. This person is going to be pretty hot, <laughs> very nice looking, very beautiful or very handsome, male or female. OK, or you could be the good looking one. OK. <laughs> Uh, and yeah, see, whoever this person is, they're very ambitious. They're very, very ambitious here. This is somebody here who f spends a lot of time working. Uh, they're very smart, but when they, they work very hard, they may work long hours. But they work for everything that they have. Okay, so this is giving me like King of Pentacles vibes. Yeah, this is somebody you're actually going to be very interested in because not interested came out in reverse. They're interested. Yeah, I'm telling you, whoever this person is, King of Swords energy, this, is very, this person is very smart. This person is very, very smart here. What do we have for the collective? But you know what? Let me move on to a different deck now. All right. Oh, I didn't mean to grab this deck, but I am going to use it because I grabbed it for a reason. It's a lot of cards. I'm shuffling you guys. How y'all doing tonight? Have you checked out the Patreon? We have a new Patreon. That's where we do all the Twin Flame readings, and that's where I post all of the extended readings, okay? It's $5 a month to get access to all of that stuff. You get Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine readings over there, okay? Let's see, what's, what or who is coming towards the collective when it comes to love? Oh, y'all have somebody in, in your... There's a, a past energy that wants you back. There goes that past person. As soon as it seems like every time we go to start asking about the, the new person, the spirit starts to tell us, here goes that old person's energy creeping back in. Uh, the person who I feel like you don't want to talk to. This is somebody here who didn't trust their intuition because this came out in reverse, or you could have not trusted your intuition or dismiss the red flags when you first started talking to this person, okay? Or for a period of time, you just ignore the red flags here. Yeah, see, you, you, you're you growing this summer.
summer, you're you're leveling up this summer, you're minding your own business here. I feel like you guys are gonna have a lot of growth and expansion this summer. This summer is gonna be a very good summer. I feel like Leo season could be very significant for you guys too. Whoever this person is from the past, because there's somebody here from the past, they <laughs> are desperate to talk to you. Please, they're like, they're going mad trying to understand. They're like, please talk to me, male or female, okay? I know there's a male on this card, but female energy too. But whoever this person is, you really don't want to talk to them. You feel like they're they're no good. You feel like they're no good. But this person is in this five of cups energy, which is in regret loss you know they they yeah they are dreaming about you or like something about music reminds you of them okay oh my gosh somebody could have caught an std okay or somebody could have went to jail here recently oh yeah somebody did somebody was put out to the curb here or thrown in jail. I don't know. Maybe you don't know this collective. This says they lost their chance. <laughs> You're not. I don't feel like you guys want to take this person back. Uh-uh. No. Yeah, you let them go. Thank you, Spirit. You're not taking this person back. You let them go. You clean let this person go. But the old person here, yeah, on the top of the deck is pause. Time. And then on the you took a break from love. Look at this. You took a break, but what you don't know is love is coming in here. This is Ace of Cups energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy here. You took a break from love, but there's something else coming in for you. I'm pulling off the bottom the bottom of the deck as I just put it down. This is worth waiting for. So you guys have new love coming in that's worth waiting for. All you have to do is trust your intuition here, okay? Especially when it comes to this old person. Make sure you're trusting your intuition. I do kind of feel like this past person, I mean, the new person is a workaholic, though. Like, they work very, very hard, uh, but they play very hard. Like, they like, maybe this person likes to travel, um, you know what I'm saying? Like to, to spend money. When they spend money, I feel like this person is going going to spend money, you know? Um, just to have a good time and make memories, you know. Um, show me what else here. Show me more about this new person, please. But thank you. There's that King of Swords. I told you this new person, you guys, could be a Gemini Libra or an Aquarius. And guess what? Came out with the King of Swords together. I'm, I'm trying to pick this up. The Ace of Wands. There's a new passionate. Remember, I was saying earlier, like when the when the sexually incompatible card came out in reverse. I was like, oh yeah, this this came out sideways. Yeah, y'all are gonna be very sexually compatible. And I also said this person's gonna be very smart. This is King of Swords energy. This is somebody who works. They're very ambitious. They're very smart. This person's very smart. You have a new passionate beginning with this air sign here. Okay. But there's a past person. Ooh, yes, you do. What's going on? Ace of Pentacles. Yeah. I'm telling you. But there is a past person who I feel like you're not accepting an offer from. You're just not interested in it, okay? There's there's nothing there anymore. Show me about the new person. Yeah, they're in emperor energy. Aries energy here. We have Aries Leo Sagittarius energy with the Ace of Wands. And then we have Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy with the Ace of Pentacles. And now this is Aries energy. This is an emperor, like I said. This is someone definitely who is a workaholic. <laughs> they're very, very ambitious. They could be a cancer, right? A very ambitious person. This is somebody, this is a divine masculine who sees something and they go get it. I see something and I go get it. Show me this new person, please. For the, yeah, okay. They may have recently walked away from somebody here. Hmm. This person may have left something behind, okay? They could have be, could be moving. Whatever it is that they've left behind, they've outgrown it, okay? They've outgrown it. And so they're walking towards the, their happiness. The sun card energy, right? All right. Yeah, they've met. Yeah, look at this. Look at this person coming up as the king of wands. And the uh, 
Gemini energy here with the magician. So this is somebody here who's willing to do whatever it takes to get whatever it is that they want, okay? And that includes walking away from things that just don't serve them emotionally anymore. So I feel like this person walked away from something that just wasn't working out for them for whatever reason. I'm not going to focus on that unless Spirit wants, wants us to. But this person, I feel like they're workaholic. They work very hard for themselves. They're very smart. They know how to manifest certain things. They manifested this connection or this new beginning. This is somebody who, like I said, it likes to have a lot of fun. This person may get a lot of attention. They're very smart. Yeah. And they look great. This is this is the third ace, ace of swords. So this is spirit saying, yep, you're telling the truth. And this <laughs> this person's getting some clarity or just having a sudden realization here. This person I'm telling you is going to be honest. The devil energy just popped out and went back in. I'm not taking that tonight. We don't need no old people. Or this past, this new person coming towards you could have just realized somebody else they were dealing with was in devil energy. I don't know. We'll see what comes back out. But show me about the new person, please. Two of Wands. This is somebody working and planning. Show me about this new person and waiting for something. There, this, somebody could be waiting to take a trip or travel here, too. This person is moving on, though. Okay. Six of Swords. New person. Show me the new person. Four, four of Wands. Somebody here could be moving to a new home here. Um, if, if this person isn't moving to a new home, this person could be traveling somewhere else or moving. Four of Wands is also a card of happiness, celebration, a strong foundation. I mean, and this makes total sense. This emperor is going to be able to do whatever, okay? The Ace of Wands is here. The Ace of, of Pentacles is here. The Ace of Swords is here. This person is going to be honest, passionate, committed. Bottom of the deck is a tower, Scorpio energy. So this could come as a shock to somebody here. Somebody here could, like... I, there's some energy of somebody being single, suddenly being single and shocked, and they were getting over a heartbreak, healing, and they were in the single nine of pentacles energy, and they were cool. They were really cool, minding their own business, you know? King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, is that the... High Priestess. The, he, he, so you may not have... Here's the Empress... And then the high priestess is in here in reverse and it's not supposed to be, but this is you not trusting your intuition about and being confused about a king of pentacles. Oh, wait, can y'all see that? The king of pentacles is here with the, the seven of cups. So if you're the divine feminine, I feel like you didn't trust your intuition and you were confused or this, this past person may come back who could be an earth sign here that can't let go of you for pentacles. They're heartbroken over you because they know you're single and having a good life, doing your minding your own business. And then they, you know, there's this tower moment here, or this person could could not have. Show me the past person's energy. Anyway, show me the past person's energy since she'll be bringing it up. Five of five of wands, conflict. Somebody's in conflict over you having a new beginning here. The hair of fine. Or this person is conflicted over having a new beginning with you or there was some conflict. Yeah, over an ending. The, de the death card. Uh -huh. Taurus, Scorpio, and Aries and Aquarius energy here. All right, I'm going to move on to a different deck and see what's going on. Show me this old uh, past person's energy. This past person didn't try. This past person didn't try. I feel like this past person showed up as someone who kind of played games with you. Past person energy, please. Yeah, they're falling apart, though. This person is all torn up into pieces. They're not even like, for some of y'all, if they have children, this person parenting came out in reverse. So this is telling me, like... This person is like not dealing with their children or somebody here could not be is some somebody here is not being a good parent. I don't know. Or this person has some inner childhood wounds that they haven't dealt with. Okay. A lack of a parent. Oh yeah, I see depressed. 
depressing. So this person is either de so depressed that they're not taking care of their responsibilities. They have children or this is this person depressed, falling apart, and they're all torn up and they're not being the date because of these inner childhood wounds that they have from their childhood that they haven't healed from. Show me the past person. Uh, I feel like somebody here is about money or this person, past person could be dealing with somebody here who just you, is using somebody for sex and money. I feel like it's not a good energy attached to your past person. Yeah, see, with dirty offers, tantric sex, and spoiled, there could be a third-party karmic. They could be dealing with the third-party karmic, karmic here. It's the, if this person thought they were getting this Queen of Pentacles energy, they didn't get that. What they really got was this was this, was this dirty-ass whatever. I Okay, top of the deck, it says hater. Third party could be, you know, you know, yeah, yeah. The, the, who, whoever this third party is that this past person is dealing with, they're dealing with a nightmare. They are dealing with a nightmare and somebody here has some fake friends. You see what I'm saying? So like, anyway, let's move on and find out about new love. <laughs> can you, spirit guys, can you please show me? Um, No, let me, okay. Show me this new love here for the collective, please. New love. Show me about the new love for the collective. I'm not about to get into the third party karmic energy right now. New love for the collective. All right, we have. Oh, this is this past person's energy coming up. This past person is the past person is going through hell with this karmic. Okay, they want to come towards you, but there's some sort of conflict that they're going through right now. It is what it is. You guys are not. I don't feel like you are having it. I really don't. Then we have. I want to make it up to you. Okay, and then guess what? Karma. I feel like this person is getting getting karma. <laughs> Spirit guys, can you please show me the new person's energy, please? Pretty please, new person. Whoa. Hold on. Is it this past person keeps coming back up? Is it over? They want to know if it's over. Can we can we hear about the new person, please, Spirit God? I could lose myself in you. So the new person, I feel like here we go. This is the person who is going to be in this Ace of Wands energy. They want to hang out with you all the time, have fun. You know, they like being with you. This person may want to travel with you too. Show me about this King of Swords. Yeah. Oh, boy. For some of y'all, the King... Listen, there... For some of y'all, this King of Swords could be... I really don't feel that way, so I'm not even going to say it. Everybody's situation is going to be different. This is the past person coming back up again. They, this past person still cares about you, and they want you to know that. And then they want you to forgive them. The new person is like, you deserve the best. <laughs> you deserve the best, honey, okay? Or sir, you deserve the best. So so what can I do for you? Okay, show me new new energy here, please. For the collective. Because, yeah, forgiveness and healing. All right. New person. Ugh, new person. I, this is past person energy coming up. OMG. Okay, well. There's an energy of healing and somebody feeling guarded. There's an unspoken truth somebody wants to bring forward here. There's something about someone here being engaged or or this could be part of the new energy. Maybe you might be getting engaged with this new person. But this feels like... Show me the new person, please. Some of y'all, this new person could... Oh my gosh, this is the past person again. This person wants to rekindle things with you. They're in regret. I don't know what to tell you. <coughs> I'm going to just end the reading because 
the past person just gonna keep coming up. Here, let's do one more deck since Spirit wants to talk about it. Hit the like button, you guys, if you need a personal reading. That information is below in the description box. And if you'd like to join Patreon, the link is below in the description box as well. Messages for the collective, please. And love. Messages for the collective. Thank you. All right, let's see. Even though we are not together, we are connected through and through. When I sleep, I dream of you. When I'm awake, I think of you. I am able to feel you as if you are physically here, okay? The number 14 could be significant for you. You guys are connected in the 5D. Let's, you're not talking, but you're still connected in the 5D, okay? There is a strong, intense feelings for this person. This is the past person, okay? Um, let's just keep it real, okay? And then, and then maybe came out. Like, maybe this person might come towards you. Maybe you might take them back. They feel like they're going to get rejected either way. And I feel like they're going to get rejected too. But I feel like as soon as this person comes out of turmoil, which is in this five of wands energy, whatever these unnecessary conflicts that they're going through with this karmic, this person literally is feeling like their world is falling apart right now. They're in all this chaos and confusion and just like this person's going through a tower moment right now. I think we did see the tower card and the death card too, right? I said, it's, it says, I feel my life falling apart and I don't know what to do. Whatever can go wrong has gone wrong. But one thing that felt right was you. You see this card? outer turmoil you see the way this this sea looks like it's in a hurricane it's you know but when this person which is with you or when they think about you this is like they're in another galaxy or another planet they they i'm just saying they look real peaceful here don't they it doesn't look too peaceful right here so somebody's over catching hell with a car making you you are about to have fun with a new person. It's unfortunate. It's not funny, but it's like, all right, y'all, listen, um, you can be dealing with any side, so just apply this word fits. I love you. Bye.